and hopefully that's not going to be, oh no, all our internal medicine things need lots and lots of surgery. You totally need to open a surgery department now that you can't afford to do because you're trying not to take a bank loan because that's how your other project hospital run went down in flames. I have these little internal monologues occasionally, you see. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Project Hospital here in Dave's awesome healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos and need to stay in bed for a while. So we've opened up hospitalization here in the emergency clinic, and occasionally people sit in bed. We have spent a ridiculous amount of money putting all of this nonsense together, and so far I think we've had a couple of people hang out in bed and then go do something else and probably get numbing ointment. We're very big on numbing ointment around here, but we've got it. It exists. If people want to use it, they can use it. What I'm far more concerned about is our overall profitability after putting all of that together. That cost me almost, I believe, $70,000 to put all of these hospitalization rooms together. The nurse's station, the on-call room, the actual sort of ward bed area over here, and then the, oh my God, you're going to die at any moment clinic over here. I want to see how this is going to affect our hard numbers because that wasn't good. That was not good at all. I had so much money. Thank goodness for pharmacy. Thank goodness pharmacy exists because this is the only thing that's keeping us going right now. You are coming in. What are you getting? You got an ankle fracture. We gave you a leg cast and we're going to give you some medication to go home with some sort of, I don't know, antibiotics or something like that. Make sure you don't get infected. Yeah, there you go. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You know what? It's 20 bucks we didn't get before we put pharmacy in. So I have recorded a few of these back to back again because I just have a lot of fun playing Project Hospital. If you left me comments in the last one, I haven't seen them yet. Thank you very much to your comments, but I haven't seen them yet. I'm going to have to travel back in time to do that. I did, however, spend a little bit of time on my own, just kind of messing around with a little bit of the DLC, primarily the gift shop. I know everyone is very excited to get the gift shop in play. I am too. I messed around with it a little bit. It is basically useless until we get an actual ward set up and people are spending a long period of time in Dave's awesome healthy clinic, etc., etc., etc. Nobody ain't going to be buying any gifts until there's somebody they can come in and visit and give gifts to. So we're not going to sweat the gift shop immediately as much as I might like to. It's just going to sit there and nobody is going to buy any balloons or teddy bears or fresh fruit or anything. Now, what I'm kind of having to think about, I touched on it in the last episode, and I've been thinking a little more about it, is looking at our quests here, if we create a doctor in the character editor, which PS is $10,000 to do that, we can open up OopsieCore here, and they will pay us 135%. We could therefore probably ditch uninsured that only pay us 90%. I'm having a good think about that. Again, I want to look at our numbers over the course of the next day or so. And if we could think we can float 10k, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that just to open up that insurance company. So what's going on here at the hospital today? Richard, you've got bronchitis and we're going to give you $600 to tell you that. And then you're going to go over to pharmacy to get some antibiotics for it. Once again, our pharmacist is on break. There we go. Richard's got his antibiotics there and we got 85 bucks. So 600 to tell you that you had bronchitis, 85 bucks to do something about it, and another 85 and another 30. Oh, we've done 45 patients per day. Oh, yay. Cool. Um, that That's neat. That's only for uninsured, though, right? That's, um, yeah, yeah, that's uh, less less encouraging than I want. I mean, sure, more patients is better. I'm not saying more patients isn't better, but it's the uninsured guys, and they don't pay us quite as much. I mean, I suppose 90% is not bad, but I'd like to see somebody who gives us a little more money coming in. Now, Kate here, you could have a lot of things going on, too. Bronchitis, the cold... Tularemia. Oh, it's an infectious disease. Oh, please don't have that, Kate. We're not equipped for that yet. We don't have anything for infectious diseases. It's an icon of a rabbit. What, what's going on here? Mainly affects the skin, eyes, lymph nodes, or lungs caused by the Francisella something or other bacteria. Highly contagious, potentially fatal. Well, what does it have to do with the rabbit? What, why are rabbits involved with this? Have you been doing something weird with rabbits? I don't know. Respiratory something virus. Human something 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 virus. 
anyway, respiratory. I'm really hoping you have bronchitis or the common cold. We can send you to x-ray your chest. You know what? Do it. X-ray the chest, please. You're getting a bunch of stuff done over at Mega Lab. When you're done with that, go X-ray your chest. We've paid a lot of money for the X-ray department. We are darn well going to use it. In fact, any radiology, just go ahead and get them scanned. Put them in the tube. Put them on the table. I don't care. Just get these people scanned with radiation until their eyes bleed because we paid a lot of money for that. Oh, wait a minute. Kate's been moving around on a stretcher here. Okay, Kate, taking advantage of our hospitalization services. You're getting, uh, where are you, where are you being taken to? Looks like, are you being taken to Mega Lab? You're under observation, that's great. I, please, use the bed, it's there, you may as well use it. I paid $70,000 for all of that. And you're getting wheeled over to where exactly? Are you going to Mega Lab? Or are you going to the X-Ray? What's, what's your deal, Kate? No, you're getting, uh, you're getting put into X-Ray. Alright, so the, the nurse here is... Gonna lump you up on the table, I assume. I should probably get more nurses. Uh, yeah, we, we did a thing. The daytime is over. Uh, we're gonna lump you up onto the table. The x-ray person's gonna do their x-ray. Uh, it doesn't actually take that long. You, you wanna just hang out. That's, that's an awfully long walk for you to get back to wherever it is you were going. Yeah, she's basically done. You, you can come right on back. She's basically done now. Oh, even worse, I caught them during shift change, too. So a completely different nurse has to go get the stretcher. And then go all the way back and get Kate. Kate's been done for ages. She's just sitting on that cold x-ray table, just chilling out quite literally. So this guy had to go back and get her, and I assume we're going to put her back under observation. It would be fantastic if you did not have an infectious disease, Kate. All right, you're getting checked out. All right. No real, uh, after all of that, nothing really popping on the possible die. Oh, you, you figured it out. There we go. Bronchitis. All of that bronchitis done. Oh, Kate's already looking more chipper. I've, um, in a rather creepy way, followed her into the restroom here, but she's she's up and about, she's walking, everything's looking good for Kate. Just a simple case of bronchitis, not the weird thing with the rabbit where you're going to die. Great! Uh, how are you guys? Joseph, you have not been seen yet. You're waiting for Dr. Brooke over here. And, uh, who are you? You're, oh, you're Joseph again. No, Joseph, you're off to go see the doctor. You are waiting for Dr. Jane. Okay, our night shift over here. A little bit of a skeleton crew at night. I see there are some people waiting. I wouldn't mind getting them seen a little bit faster. Well, we'll kind of see how it goes. Maybe we'll add one extra doctor at night. Oh, Joseph was an easy one. Quick case of insomnia. Probably be right over to pharmacy. I do have a night pharmacist. Ah, we've done another thing. We treated 50 patients. Wow, we are treating a lot of people. Prestige bonus for a day. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Probably get us a little few more people in here. Uh, they're very excited about Dave's awesome healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos and are slightly more prestigious. There we go. 50 bucks for some sleeping drugs. Excellent. Bottle of wine would have done the job, man. Now, Robert here checked himself into observation here. I, I feel we could narrow this down fairly quickly. It's a contusion or it's a fracture. Just send the guy for an x-ray. I think we need another nurse. Like the, the people, yeah, they like you. Like carrying people back and forth to x-ray. I, I think this would be a valuable thing. I did just run a very, very thin crew on hospitalization. Just because, you know, stupid amounts of money. But this guy's doing a lot of work, and I bet you got to go get this guy, too. Because he, yeah, there we go, and you're off to do another thing. Uh, where are you going? Dude, where, where where are you going? Are you going to take a break? It's only you, you know, you could you could bring me grab this. Yeah, you are taking a break. Okay, you, know, you got to go get this lady, and then you got to go back and probably get Robert here, because he needs an x-ray. Ah, uh, Kate here at 4.42 in the morning has been waiting a very, very long time. Uh, where are you? What's your problem? Bronchitis, right? Where, where are you right now? You're over here waiting. Okay. I think we need another doctor at night. That's not what I want. Uh, let me take a quick look at numbers here. I mean, we were, again, technically profitable yesterday, accounting for all of the building that I did. I'm going to try and float one more doctor at night. Okay, get me to management. Who doesn't have a doctor at night? Okay, you do, you do, you don't. Let's throw somebody in here. Who's good at doctorizing? General 57, diagnosis 66. Diagnosis zero, Frank. Zero. General medicine, zero. You're just, you're actually not a doctor. 
You're probably like a, a carpenter or an accountant or something. You are, in fact, not a doctor at all. Uh, who else is going around here? They're all kind of mid-range. Uh, I think Michael, 57, 66, advanced diagnosis, 17, acute, 67. That's about the best I'm going to get here. Okay, you are on the night shift, sir. Maybe that'll clean the line out a little bit faster. Well, our new doctor has already figured out that Kate here has got a deep wound on her arm. He's going to close it up. Send her off for 500 bucks, and I bet you you're going to have to go to the pharmacy, too. Yeah, we did a thing. It's overnight. Uh, what did we uh, What did we do for you? Me, meta, metatarsal bone fracture. That sounds terrible. Wow, people just get abused in this town. It is like a non-stop action movie going on around here, except people really get injured, unlike action movies where they don't. Uh, Kate left. Okay. Couldn't quite get her scene in time. You know what? We're going to learn to cope with that. All right, so we do make a little bit of money from the insurance companies on hospitalization. Not enough to cover our wages right now. That's the unfortunate part. But we do make a little bit of money. We almost break even on that. Almost a net zero balance on that. I mean, what is it? Uh, 11.30 in the morning. We're up 5K for the day. It's not bad. I'd really like to think about that making a doctor thing just to get that insurance company on board because that would be like 40% more if we got rid of uninsured and took them instead. I mean, things are going along just fine. The The hospitalization is not crippling us in, in costs like I thought it would, but we're kind of stagnating. We're just not really getting way ahead of the game. What is... I'm kind of thinking about two things. The make a doctor thing, sure, that's nice. I could also open up another specialized clinic, and I thought about this the last time. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe like the, the inside -y stuff, general, not general surgery, not intensive care, internal medicine, internal medicine. I kind of want to do it just to do it and see if it flies. And hopefully that's not going to be, oh no, all our internal medicine things need lots and lots of surgery. You totally need to open a surgery department now that you can't afford to do because you're trying not to take a bank loan because that's how your other project hospital run went down in flames. I have these little internal monologues occasionally, you see. I kind of want to put up just, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, okay, here's, here's my plan. I'm going to wait till the end of the day. See what our broad numbers look like at the end of the day. And if I think I can float it, I think we're going to build another specialized clinic. All right, well, someone else has been vlogging about us today, so there's 40% more patients uh, coming, in the, coming in the door. That's cool. We are just past midnight, though. Let me look at some numbers here. Okay, we're up 6300 bucks. It's not make or break money, but we are, as I like to say, technically profitable. Where did this 15 come from? Oh, that's probably vending machines. Yeah, that's probably vending machine stuff there. Okay. Ah, wow, those wages and hospitalization. Now we're not breaking even on that. I need more people to get hospitalized. That's, that's what I need. I need more people to get hospitalized around here. Okay, well, we're still up. We're still technically profitable. I mean, I could just build another one of these things, the observation rooms. That would get more people under observation. I wonder if we're just not, we don't have the room to hospitalize people because there's only the two beds. I could put one of those up and then I, you know, I still have all the staff here. They'd be running around like maniacs, but I still have all the staff. No, I think I'm going to go with my, my plan of a internal medicine clinic. Okay. Kind of need to think about where where this is likely to live. I weirdly kind of want to start putting some stuff down here. I almost want to build another small reception area in here and have kind of two entrances to Dave's Awesome Healthy Clinic for people who have boo-boos, etc., etc., and then start doing internal medicine down in here. Why do I want to do that? I haven't the slightest idea. I just kind of feel it's a thing I want to do. The thing is, I don't have a ton of money to do this. Let's see what I can put together. So I'm putting together a simple little doctor's office here for the internal medicine. Let's put that guy there. Apparently you need that. I'll give you, yeah, I can squeeze an equipment table in here. Let's try and make it look halfway decent. You can have your little CRP scanner over here. 
can have your audio meter. Get that. Get, 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 get. Go where I want you to go. There we go. Switch the cabinets around and everyone's happy all of a sudden. Uh, chart board. You could live, say, right there and your little biohazard thing. And everybody needs an eye test. Why? Not really sure about that. Especially as this is internal medicine and eyes are kind of an outside-y thing, aren't they? I don't know. Maybe there's something you do with eyes here. And then let's get you anything slightly decorative that we could throw in here. Uh, how about a, a clock? So you know what time it is when you're doing your internal medicine stuff. That could live, well, virtually anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Right over the sink. So you can time how long you wash your hands. Very, very important. Uh, probably not a cactus notice board. Yeah, sure. You can have a little notice board. You could be noticing things about internal medicine. Okay. I just need a kind of a vague waiting room around here. So internal medicine, let's get a waiting room outside here like that. I have no idea how popular this place is going to be, but we'll kind of see what happens. I'll get you your little cue machine here because I didn't put that down in reception. And then I'll get you the info TV that goes with it. Uh, is that the right way round on that? Show me, show me, show me. Uh, no, that was the wrong way around. Okay, so that needs to go like that. And then some chairs. All right, let's get, well, chairs, basically. Let's get those to go like here. Again, no idea how many people are actually going to be queued up here. So we'll just kind of play it by ear. All right, now get to management. I'm just going to put someone on for the day shift for now. And then we'll kind of play it by ear. Uh, Daniel, you're pretty good at internal medicine. And you're no slouch in other things either. All right, you are in, sir. Daniel, welcome to the team. All of the receptionists are completely terrible. But I, I guess I'll take Barbara here. Wow, everyone's terrible there. Okay, uh, you guys are all immediately going to go home because it's quarter of one in the morning and you don't work right now. So off you go. I'm going to keep this area clean here for probably a corridor to start wrapping around to something else. If this turns out to be a big deal, then I've got space to put a couple of more clinics right there. Ah, and Daniel's leaving because he wasn't seen in time either. What was your what was your problem? You might have had one of two different flus. Okay. Maybe another doctor at night? Let's get over this vlogger thing first. And that, you know, we might just be getting more people than we can handle right at the moment, but that might not last. And then I'll think about another doctor for the evening shift. Now, 7.30 in the morning, and the team is here for internal medicine. I say team, one doctor and one receptionist, and the receptionist probably won't even do that much. I didn't even give them nice chairs. I gave them hard wooden chairs there. But you know what? I will perk the place up a little bit. Let's put something decorative in there. You can have a single plant right there. Okay, we'll see if anyone bites on this. See if anyone wants to do any internal medicine-y things over here. I just actually, I'm not opposed to the fact that we just have a second entrance at this point. So that might make things slightly handier. People can get into the office quickly rather than having to walk all the way down the street. Although some of you are choosing to walk all the way down the street. Well, somebody's interested in internal medicine. This li Oh, wow. You have so many things that I can't pronounce. Slow it down. I got to go through you, Mary. You are... Wow. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. That one I can pronounce. Bacterial disease caused by uh, Ricky Schroeder, apparently. Spread by various species of ticks. Japanese Spotted Fever. Have you been abroad? Uh, the disease is caused, again, by Ricky Schroeder by, via tick. You've been bitten by a tick. Well, it, this is what I'm seeing out of you. You Tick fever, tick fever, tick fever. Do you have a tick on you? Should we remove it? What's botanoose fever? Again, Ricky Schroeder and another type of tick in the Mediterranean this time. Okay, uh, Doc, ask her where she's been first. Beca oh, there we go. Oh, it was just, it was atopic dermatitis. That was not nearly as exciting. How much should we charge you for that? 140 bucks. And you'll probably go to the pharmacy to get some corticosteroids. Okay, cool. Um, right, you're in too. You have ASOM. Okay. That sounds like a boss in a video game. Acute spurative otitis media. Very painful. Okay, infection of the middle ear. You could have just dumbed it down for me there, game. You have an ear infection. All right, and we're doing a thing to you. 140 bucks. Okay, internal medicine, not massive money, but there are, there are people waiting for this. I may have to put up a second doctor sooner than I thought. 
I'm also going to think about another Janet or two. There is um, an alarming amount of blood on the floors right now. Quite quite an alarming amount of blood on the floors. Let's see what we could um, possibly do with that. Uh, no, no, not that. Just go to... Actually, I could just set one up for internal medicine. A small cleaning closet is not going to cost me a lot of money. I might do that. Hmm. Ye short answer, yes. Long answer... Let me see. Okay, you're cleaning up the blood. You are in there. There's some more down here by the chairs. You're probably going to want to get on that. I don't know if that was caused by the tick lady or not, but yeah, work, work your way up there. No, you, you stopped. Hospitalization on orthopedics is not functional. Yeah, you're right. That's correct. It's not. You know how much money that is? I do. It's about $70,000. Send him somewhere else. Can we just, can we just say we're done? Uh, we Not without hospitalization. Okay. Uh, go away. Yeah, go away. I, I don't want to deal with your nonsense. Yeah, internal medicine, not a small amount of people here. Not a, not a small amount of people at all. Again, the numbers are not very big. 160, 140, 120. Not huge numbers for these, but we do seem to be able to get them in and out fairly quickly, I guess. I'm th already thinking another doctor for internal medicine... And I think I am going to go with my idea of a cleaning closet for this area, too. It'll just get another janitor moving around the building. You know, what probably wouldn't be terrible either is another common room down in this neck of the woods. Because this guy's only going to the vending machine. I mean, the common room, the break room here, it's all the way over here. He's not going to go all the way over there. I think, yeah, we're going to start duplicating some stuff on this side of the hospital. So here's my thought. Another doctor's office here, a very small cleaning closet maybe over here. Keep this area clear for corridors and pathways to get from one place to another. 42 k in the bank, and it cost me very little to put up that reception and doctor's office. It's not a major expense. Do I want to go with that right now? Let me do the cleaning closet first, and then probably the break room. And then leave some... S okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Hang on, hang on. Where, what is my plan here? My plan is to earmark the area for the doctor's office so I don't build over it. So I want the door to be like right about here so it won't interfere with the waiting area there. So that's going to be your office. There'll be a door right in the corner. Okay, why don't I just quickly wall that off so I don't, again, overbuild myself... This area will be some kind of corridor of some sort. And then come back to me here. This area over by the restroom could just be a nice small cleaning closet. So this, like that. I don't even remember how big they have to be. Not that big is the answer. I could maybe wrap a corridor from there to there. That's not a terrible idea at all. In fact, wall this off so you don't build over it. That's going to be a cleaning closet. And then spin this around like that, take this doctor's office one more tile out, and then this whole thing could just be corridor to corridor like that eventually. So this is going to be just a regular old cleaning closet. Thank you. Let's get the bucket cart, because I like the bucket cart. And then I'm going to put some shelves up anyway, just because it kind of fleshes the place out, and they're not crazy expensive. Um, you know what I actually don't have? I don't have a lot of trash bins around. Let's put a few of those dotting around the hospital here, just in case, you know, people want to throw something away. Ooh, I was thinking about another common room, though, too. Okay, I could bring my corridor out and then do a common room kind of over here. Let's take care of basics first. Let's just get somebody hired for this. So you, who's good at janitorizing? Uh, none of you, really. Elizabeth, you're, you're okay. And you could potentially be a manager. All right, you could potentially be a gift shop vendor at 0%. You, you don't actually work retail, do you, sir? No. You could be a manager, though. We'll think about that over the long term. Okay, put all of that together. I've got this earmarked out. I'm not going to kit it out yet. I'm basically going to wait for the speed bump until this line is just so crazy that I've got to put another doctor there. But I've got it. I've got the space and it wasn't even, again, it wasn't a crazy amount of money to put all that together. And it won't be too expensive to put together another doctor's office. Where are you going? Are you going to the restroom? Okay, the restroom is fairly close by. That I can cope with. Eh, another patient who can't be hospitalized at orthopedics. Yeah, I know. Just send her away. I'm very sorry, but we're going to have to send you away. 
I'm not, I don't have $70,000 to put together for you. It's just not going to happen. And again, I'm going to actively avoid a bank loan if I can. If that becomes our entire day, where every single patient who walks in here needs hospitalization at orthopedics, I don't know why, we've been getting through them just fine, throw some casts on them, throw a splint on them, send them to the pharmacy and get them out the door. But if that's going to be our day-to-day, then I might think about taking a bank loan, but I want that to be the absolute last resort here. And even with that building, numbers for yesterday are not atrocious. We're uh, we're up about 8K, which is not completely 100% terrible. I noticed we sold two things out of the vending machines. Yay! Maybe I should put some more up. Hey, it's five bucks a pop. How did we broadly do here? We didn't hospitalize anyone in emergency, and we spent 1600 on wages. So everybody in hospitalization just sat around twiddling their thumbs, doing absolutely nothing. These rooms aren't shared, right? Like, I can't share the, the like, the nurse's station and the, the on-call room and all of that. No, I don't think I can. I'm pretty sure I would have to set up all four rooms for hospitalization at orthopedics. I'm not 100% on that. Like, what I'd like to do is just set up this room, the hospitalization ward, for orthopedics and have these nurses and these on-call people treat them, but I don't think I can get away with that. That I, I just don't think that works, period. How's uh, how's internal medicine doing? Eh, we're not busting down the doors. Uh, somebody left a janitor cart, like, right in the middle here. Guys, we've got to come back and get this. This is probably an OSHA violation right here. Uh, what's your problem, Chief? You're James. You're going to the receptionist. The receptionist is kind of on break right now. Uh, yeah, the receptionist. Oh, I haven't decided what your uniform should be in internal medicine. Definitely green. Because internal, I'm thinking vomit. So we're going green on that. Oh, yeah, that's a vomity kind of green yellow right there. All you guys are wearing that really, really gross color. I'll tell you what, you're dealing with people who have global ticks on their body international ticks on their body. You should have the most disgusting color this game allows you to have. Okay, two people waiting at internal, three people. I know there's no orthopedics, Tom. I know we can't hospitalize you. You're going to have to go away. Maybe this is going to be our day-to-day -day here. Maybe I've just got to bite the bullet and do that. I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm just going to take a look at what kind of bank loans may be involved there. Pharmacy, you are going to need to be charging a heck of a lot more for the antibiotics and stuff. Antibiotics? Like, like not having bees around you? Antibiotics. Hmm. Like there would be no bees in my general vicinity if I took that pill. So you got to jump up the charges on the antibiotics because uh, we're going to need a lot of money soon. Yeah, 20k increments. I'm going to need three of them, probably, to do all of the hospitalization. Again, it, it was about 70 to put together all of these rooms. And then there's staff. Then I'm going to have to staff this place. And in fact, given what I'm seeing down here, I might go with the larger ward with more beds in it. Because that's, I mean, we're only able to treat two people at a time. And we're getting more than that saying, oh, no, we need hospitalization at orthopedics and you don't have it. Uh, internal medicine, yeah, you're getting through the line. We, we don't need a second doctor right now. You are getting through this line. If anything, I might think about a, a night shift doctor and just have it go 24-7 but only one office. We'll have a think about that. What's your problem? How many ticks do you have? Oh, you have the ASOM thing. Right. Well, it's only 140 bucks, but you're going to go get some antibiotics from uh, the pharmacy or indeed even some antibiotics. I don't know if you're allergic to bee stings, but if you are, I think we can do that too. And there's another one. Patricia is out the door. Sorry, Patricia, you're going to have to go somewhere else. ACL injury. Oh, that'd be some money too. We're going to give you a bowl of rice and throw you out the door. No. All right, go. Everybody go away. Yep, everybody go away, please. That's all. I'm going to say it's all fine. It's not all fine at all. Obviously, this is the next thing that I'm going to need to do. We need to get uh, hospitalization going at orthopedics. I mean, I've got a good spot here that I could line it up, kind of like I did over here, little staggered buildings over here. So I do have some space for it. I just don't really have the money for it. And I'm just, we're just kind of vaguely ahead of the game every day on this. All right, 
Well, we're going to have to do it at some point or another. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Project Hospital for today. Do please keep the comments coming in, guys. Sometimes I see them late, but I do read all of them. So do please keep them coming in. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Just get right up in his face and shoot him in the face. I'm done with this guy. Go ahead and just shoot him right in the face, please. Yes, thank you. Bet that hurt. I think we're we're officially farming at this point. I, I think, yeah, look, 99%, 98%. Yeah, we're, we're farming now. Elton, were you just scribbling on a map when you put this tour together? Looks like you had some sort of seizure with a pen in your hand. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I, I broke Dave. I broke Dave. <laughs> 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 uh, talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.